Okay, so welcome to the Second Life website. Um, we'll take a look around. Um, what we see here on the page is an introduction to Second Life through these various pods. You can click on the pods and find out more. There are a number of pods identified with uh, a variety of verbs here, learn, play, shop, explore, love, work, dance, create is another one that's around here somewhere. So take a look, uh, explore the site, and when you're ready, um, let's log into Second Life. The showcase at the top on the navigation bar here, or what is Second Life, is really helpful. We'll walk you through and show you some videos. So um, we're going to go to the Get Started. Okay, so you can either get to that through any of these little pods or click on the top here. Okay, it brings you to this form. So this is where we select our avatar. So let's just pick one and choose a community. I'd like you all to select that. Um, what that will do is um, present you with a number of options at the end about I don't know, 10 or 12 uh, communities where you can start. And these are like gateways that provide instruction and training um, as little as you want or as much as you want. And so um, Peter has suggested spending an hour or so there and you know spend as much time as you need. And uh, what I'm doing is creating an avatar um, who will also be in that location so I can um, at least meet with you and uh, at least know what you're going through. Okay, um, when I joined uh, about three years ago, I actually skipped that part and I regretted it after that because you can't go back. Um, what you can do though is go to other islands, but I think there's something a bit magical about arriving on the one island with a group of other people and starting there. So let's pick our first name. My name's Ben. I'm actually going to pick my real name here and get a last name. They're not the greatest, as you'll see. I think millions of people choosing them. We have to um, <laughs> be satisfied, I guess, um, to have a unique name. I'm going to pick Yorkiv here. Ben Yorkiv, that'll do. And email address. Okay, I'd like you to put in your email address. Confirm your email address. Country birth date, your real name, your real last name, first name, last name, gender, I mean you can put whatever you want here. Um, your um, password, this is a password that you're going to use to get into Second Life. Okay, um, you're going to put it in and confirm it. They're going to ask you a security question. I'd suggest choosing one of these. I'm not sure if you can bypass it, but your pet's name or whatever because it'll prompt you later on if you forget. And then you have to add in the two words below. I don't know about you, but I can't read those two words. So um, if you not, if you can't see it, just pick another one. Type that in and agree to the terms of service. Actually read the terms of service. They're rather interesting, so. Okay, so once you've filled in the part one, the form, you'll be taking to, taken to part two here where you're presented with um, options um, for communities. So um, these change, so it might not look like this when you log in. Um, this morning when I looked through Campus in 3D, the one we want to choose, the green one here, it was actually on page two. So my guess is it's become very popular today and it's moved up. Okay, um, and we're just going to select yes start here. So we're almost done. Please check your email to activate your account. So I'm going to have to go over to my email which I have open in another window and pull it up. My Ben Yorkiv and it tells me click here to activate your account. Oh, allow. I have a pop-up stopper there on my computer. Aha! 
and it's telling me it's activating my account and it has actually opened up a file here automatically for me to save um, and it says if it doesn't do it in a few seconds click um, here on the downloads page for me it opened up right away so I'm just fine and it tells me here on this page save the installation file so it's already selected save I'm just gonna click OK just so you can see what's happening there and it's saving it to my computer yours might look a little bit different I'm on a Mac here oopsie it went behind but let's scroll down it tells us to save the installation file the next one tells us to drag the icon to the folder Okay, on a PC, it, your instructions are going to be a little bit different. I believe this morning it told me to um, save the file and then run it. So, you know, follow your instructions on the page if you're on a, a PC and it'll, it tells you to run the file. So, and it shows you the what to do. Okay, let me go over and find mine. Here it is. And it told me to... Um, it is I'm just clicking on that to open it up and it told me to drag it into my folder let me look back at my instructions it says drag the icon into the applications folder and it shows me second life and my applications so I'm going to drag it over so there it is here is my applications folder so I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna drag it I can either drop it right on applications or I can take it and stick it in the folder I'll just do that it says one already exists do I want to replace it and I'll say sure okay now it's in close these things out and we actually are done so let's just um, open our second life here I'm clicking it says that do I want to open it I sure do and it's now opening my second life viewer this is what people will refer to as the second life viewer or the second life software and it sits on your computer rather it's not on the website it's not on the second life site it's on your computer let me just bring this into my window where I'm recording so you can see what I'm up to here every time you log on you get a different image I love that I'm actually I love images so this is like my little highlight of the day.